Hey guys, this is Saru 7 mm here and today I'm gonna bring you a new tutorial uh, It's gonna be how to render in Sony Vegas Pro uh, in 720p uh, HD quality for YouTube so I'm not using uh, right now Sony Vegas, I'm using Adobe Premiere but I'm gonna show you the easiest way with solid quality so, so yeah, you need Sony Vegas Pro 10 or any version actually it's pretty much the same uh, same settings, same options, so you're not gonna miss anything. Uh, first thing first, you're gonna need file and you need to go to new. You have here a couple templates, you need this one, HDV 720, 30p, uh, wide and high. You don't need to change anything here. That is exactly uh, a resolution which you need for 720p on YouTube. Field order, non-progressive scan, pixel aspect ratio 1.0 square, Frame rate 29.970 uh, NT, NTSC uh, or PAL, depends where you live. You don't need to change anything here except for resolution rendering quality. You can switch best. I think default is good, but it's not gonna change anything, at least too much. So, that and this is really nice option. Start all new projects with these settings. So, you don't need to do this anytime soon again. And now you can notice some couple things here. This is timeline, and this is a place where we're gonna import your F files, uh, which you recorded with Fraps or I don't know your uh, recorded card, recording card, or however if you're playing games on cons consoles. So, for example, I'm gonna import this clip. Then you need to drag that in timeline, and you can see your clip just right here. You need to re uh, record and uh, 128720 if you want to get full nice screen. If for some reason you have some black bars and you want to stretch that screen, uh, you need to go to the properties and to uncheck this mountain aspect ratio. Now it's not gonna change anything because I recorded it exactly a resolution which we need, but you will. Uh, remove those black bars. Maybe the image is gonna be a little bit, uh, I don't know, uh, scratched, but if it's not too much, I think it's good. So, so yeah, if you want here, you can, I don't know, uh, do some effects. For example, if you, ha if you want to bridge a little bit picture, very bright, you can just drag that one here, and like you can see, this doesn't look good, but yeah. You can split up this video with pressing S button, so yeah, kinda, I don't know, small useful tips, maybe you can use those, you're deleting those out on delete button or right click and then delete. So yeah, let's go and actually why are we here? So when you have a clip which you want to render in this timeline, you need to go to file and render res. Today I'm gonna show you how to render in Windows Media Video V11, so it's not that good quality, but if you have low internet connection or you want small file size, this is probably the best one, at least in Sony Vegas, but because I'm, it's taking too much time to render, like for 15 minutes I need to wait more than 1 hour, 15 minutes actually, in Adobe Premiere I'm getting for but I'm then the, there I'm rendering in in uh, MP4 uh, flash files, and I need around 20 minutes for 15 minute recorded uh, footage, so it's much much more faster. But yeah, I use it to do this almost whole year, and quality is really solid. So when you select this one, you need to go in template, and you have here a couple templates. Basically, you just choose 3 megabits video and go to custom. And let's start here audio. You need to check this one because otherwise your video is not gonna have audio and you don't want that, obviously. Mode CBR uh, 9.2, uh, attributes 9644, depends what you want. But you don't need to change anything here. Then you go to video and you, you will see here a couple options mode CBR, I used to use CBR because I don't know actually why but I got most I don't know best results as you can uh, for that requirements uh, with these settings so mode CBR format now Windows Media Video 9 image size you should uh, be able to select this one keep original size I recorded that resolution I need that resolution so original size is good but 
if you have problems for some reason you go to custom and just select your resolution which you want pixel aspect ratio as in the beginning 1.0 square frame rate 30 as always you can choose 60 if you want but for YouTube you don't need any more than 30 override default compression buffer you don't need that one and video smoothness actually default is on 90 but I used to select on 95 it's not that much improvement but if you really watch from close you can notice couple things couple pixels but it's not that important so just put 95 and don't worry on bitrate here is the thing you have internet LAN 3 is pretty much the the lowest uh, which you should use because anything below 3 even 3 is not that good but I would recommend if you have I don't know good processor and good internet to select 4 but I used to use 3.5 and I was satisfied with that quality now even now in Adobe Premiere I'm using 3.5 but in uh, MP4 format is a little bit better and I'm gonna do that tutorial eventually if I, if I have requests so yeah when you set all those settings you don't need to change anything in index summary or project you can rename your template however you want for example again for 7 and just switch save and now every time when you select this format you actually have here your template and it's really nice real quick select your file name and click save and rendering will start so that's pretty much what you need to know for basic rendering settings for YouTube you can play a little bit with your settings change formats templates you will see how that works how much time you need to render and what is file size but yeah for now that's gonna be pretty much everything for Sony Vegas it was quick tutorial and if you have any question feel free to ask me so thanks for watching guys